Let's take just a moment to discuss how to install a Solideck junction box. This is a wire management transition point that takes your strings from your PV array and then transitions them so that they can easily run through conduit in your building and connect to your DC disconnect. I'm Jay Warmke with Blue Rock Station and let's get started. Now we're going to go ahead and install this Solideck. The Solideck junction box in this case is a nice unit. It's very low profile. You'll see it fits in well underneath the rails and when we put all of the pieces in it has a nice cover. Everything is going to be waterproof. Everything's watertight. It's flashed in. On the box there is a template that comes. You can put this on your roof where you want to install the unit, trace around it, and then you want to cut away the shingle here so that when we push the unit up underneath, it will fit in and flash out nicely. You'll notice also there is a hole that I've cut in the roof right here with the um, Solideck and that's where the wires will be going down into the attic so that no wires are exposed out across the roof. Okay, this unit comes with some, uh, with some grommets and screws. So once we've lined up the unit where we want it and flashed it properly, then we'll screw it down into the deck within the unit. This just keeps it from shifting. There we go. Now we'll finish the wiring. I'm going to bring these in through these boxes. Now one of the difficulties about this system is the base where you're going to be feeding the wires in do not come with knockouts or pre-drilled. So you're going to have to drill those and it is a pain in the tuchus to do so. So now that the box is connected to the roof, we're going to go ahead and do the wiring. First thing we're going to do is we're going to run one of the jumpers in to the negative termination block on the Solideck panel. It's the one in black. There will be a positive termination block. That's the one in red. And then there's also a ground lug connection point. We'll show you how you connect to those here in just a second. But anyway, keep the jumpers disconnected from the solar array as you're installing this so there's no power going into the system while you're doing the wiring. So you're going to go ahead and strip the ends of those MC4 connector jumpers for the PV source circuit. The black wire will be connecting to the negative terminal block, the red wire connecting in with the positive terminal block, and then in a second we'll show you how you run the bare copper wire from the rail to the ground lug in that system. You're going to want to clamp these conductors down to the base of the Solideck unit using conduit clamp connectors. Uh, those will be threaded into the holes that you've pre-drilled into the Solideck unit. Feed those in, terminate the PV source wires, then the wires coming up from the PV output circuit, these are the wires that go in through the hole in the attic going through conduit down to the DC disconnect. That PV output circuit will then be connected to the terminating blocks, the negative to the negative, the positive to the positive, the ground, the equipment ground conductor to the uh, grounding lug. And then the wiring here is pretty much finished. Now this is a DC setup. There are AC systems if you're using microinverters and there are also um, connectors for combining the circuits. So just use whichever of the terminating blocks that you require for your installation. Now as promised, we're going to show you how you connect the ground conductor from the rail system to the Solideck uh, junction box or combiner box. Now the first thing we're going to need to do is attach the ground lug to the end of the rail. Uh, oftentimes systems require that you bond both rails together. Sometimes they only require that you connect to one rail. But we're going to use a number six bare copper wire and a stainless steel ground lug. 
Now make sure that the copper only connects with the stainless steel. You don't want it connecting in with any of the aluminum, touching the roof, touching any of the aluminum rails. You're going to use number six or larger bare copper wire, connecting that into the stainless steel ground lug that you've just connected to the end of the rail. Tighten that thing down. Then as you begin to feed that bare copper wire along the roof, make sure it doesn't touch any of the other metal bits that are up there. If it does, you're going to get some galvanic action and that's going to cause the metal to disintegrate or deteriorate over time. Now you're going to want to feed that in through the base of the solar deck through one of those clamps that you've installed in one of the holes that you pre-drilled. Make sure the copper wire doesn't touch any of the roof, any of the other material. It's pretty firm, so you can manipulate it pretty well. Once you've clamped that down, then bend it in there, hook it into the ground lug, and your wiring of the Solideck junction box is complete. You can find more information on living sustainably in our unsustainable world at BlueRockStation.com.